Hello folks, this is Margie Roy from 3dcuts.com and today I'm going to be doing the tutorial for the projects that are part of my Stacked Hearts series. I'm coming out with these for Valentine's Day of 2020 and there are three pieces to it all from similar files and a similar technique and that is by using a stacked heart. The first is this wall decor piece all done in white uh, that's very elegant. I have also done a valentine using the scraps from this to make a stacked valentine as well. And I used the same file reduced to make a valentine like so. All of these are all these files are included in this download. Uh, so let's get started. First, we will do the wall decor piece. This is an elegant shadow box insert for a purchased frame. It consists of eight layers of cut cardstock. Before you begin, be sure to go to my website to the address noted on the screen and check out the information that is there. That is sister information that goes along with this tutorial. And it will be information about the frame that I'm using, the papers I'm using, and the sizing if it's important. Now, first of all, I'd like to talk a little bit about this frame. This is a frame that I got at Michael's. It's listed as an eight by eight shadow box, but if you take a ruler and you measure it, it is nine by nine. If you turn it over and you measure the inside of the back, that is eight by eight. But when you take the back out, there is an inside uh, collar in there and the inside of that is about seven and five eighths by seven and five eighths. So you can use different shadow boxes. There are links to some on my website. I also purchased this eight by eight Daris Amazon Essentials shadow box. It comes in a group of three uh, and it would work for this file, but it is eight and three quarter inches square on the outside. And when I take off the backing, this area is eight inches square, but inside there is the collar, it is removable. And this one is only, well, a little under seven and a half. So it's a full eighth inch smaller than this frame. I needed to reduce the size of my stack in order to have it fit in this uh, shadow box. It is also much thinner, so I don't need to put the supports, which you'll see further in the video, in the back of this one. Do these measurements before you begin cutting. You want your inside pieces to exactly match what is inside here. So mine are the seven and five eighths by seven and five eighths. You can group all the layers of the files and adjust, but they should be square. Now in my file, you will notice that there is a tiny quarter, corner cut off, and that is to help you align them for stacking. Make sure that you've got them all in order with that particular corner in the same location on each of them. Before you begin, wash and dry the inside of your, of your glass. I'm gonna use the frame to help me place these. The first one will go right up against the glass. I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to put the corner up there in the upper left, although it can be any corner. And I'm going to make sure that this is tight down in the corner right here. Now I am going to use 3D dots. The 3D dots that I'm using are thin ones. They are only a 16th of an inch thick. And that is because there are nine layers, eight cut layers plus a solid layer that's going to go in here. And it has to be thinner than this depth. If you use thicker ones, you'll run into problems. Now what I do is I take each dot and I put one about a quarter of an inch in, in each corner here. 
there is a link on my website to the particular dots that I ordered. I got them from Amazon. The only thing important about them is that they be the 16th of an inch, not the quarter inch thick ones. Okay, I have put six in this location all the way around. If I was planning on this to be something permanent to last more than a year, I would probably put some around the outside as well. But I use my frame for many different seasons and this will come out and something else will go in. So I'm just going to put them in the center. I will then peel off the backings all the way around. Now make sure that this is again aligned in that corner. Take the next layer down. Make sure that the cut corner is up there. Turn it over and bring it in right into that corner to line up. Place it down and then remember where those dots were? Press in place in each of those places. We're now going to do the second layer exactly the same way as the first. I am going to try to put the dots in about exactly the same place because I'm going to be pressing down on them and I want them to be fairly close. Layer three, turn it over, line up the corners, bring it in and press in place. Putting in all eight layers is exactly the same process for each layer. That is the eighth layer. I have now cut a square of paper that is exactly the size of my inside of my frame here. I will peel off this last one and I'll put this one into place. I can turn it over now and take a sneak peek. Oh, isn't that stunning? Okay, back to the back side. You'll notice there's going to be a gap of about a half inch between your last layer here and the backing. That's what the four rectangle pieces with the dotted lines in them are for. Take each of these and fold them along the dotted line, all in the same direction. They are going to fold into themselves to create these triangular prisms, which will be fillers for the back here. So I'm going to take that and I'm just going to take scotch tape. These will not be visible. I've wrapped them around to make the uh, triangular form and I'm going to take them to hold that form and they will get taped in here to give us fillers for the back here. I need to make all four of them exactly the same way. There, I've completed all four of these. Now these fillers may not be needed if your frame is not as deep as mine. Or they may need to be a little bigger if yours is deeper than mine. You might have to adjust these. They are optional and you can also fill the back with um, stacks of corrugated cardboard if you want. I didn't have any, so. I'm just going to take these into place to hold them there on the final layer of my design. This is to prevent the, the uh,
this is to prevent it from collapsing into the frame when it's hanging on the wall. I probably should have had them going that way. I'm going to turn my design and have it go vertically. Oh, look at this. One of the little backings is caught here. You don't want those inside the frame. They will show up. Okay, now I'll take the backing and put that back in. Close all of the little tabs to lock it in place. And there we go. Now I'm set to go and make the card that is going to go along with it. That will be in a separate tutorial, also at my website at 3dcuts.com. There are two Valentine card files with this download as well. The first, the red one, is a stacked heart Valentine. It's version one, and you use the scraps left over from making this wall decor to create this card. There is a separate tutorial for it. The second is the white one. It is its own file, part of this download as well, and there is also a tutorial for that. The white one is version two. Which one are you going to make to give when you give this wall decor to someone special? Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Thanks for watching. And happy crafting, everyone.